Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Let's go ahead and check out a whole bunch of uh, custom Hot Wheels I've been working on. Uh, I've finished all these ones up. Uh, this one I've shown before but I finished it up so it's completed now. I went ahead and finished all the detailing around the windows. I actually did a video on just the detailing of it. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Absolutely love this NATO green from Tamiya. I uh, put a wash in the front grill and then painted some engine detail. And then we have this one, the panty dropper. Thought it looked good with the gold interior that I had, and the gold rims and tires. It goes really well with this paint. Absolutely love how this turned out. Now this was a true color, candy clear color, candy red with a K. And this is the same color, but this one was over the Mulatto Chrome. And this one was over the all clad chrome. And it actually made a big difference. Uh, since I painted this one though, I started uh, sealing the all clad chrome after painting it. The Mulatto chrome, I don't seal it. So, And I think if I would have went one coat darker with this, it would have looked more like this. Because only two coats in, it looked more like that. Very, very happy with how both of these turned out. They're both clear coated and completed now. Got the Corvette, completed it. I don't know if I've shown it before or not. I did show it on my Instagram. If you're not on Instagram and you collect 164th, you should be because uh, I had no idea there were so many collectors in this world of diecast 164th until I got on there. It is absolutely insane, the diecast community on there. And this is a Redline Shop Spectra Flame Green Antifreeze. It's a Spectra Flame Antifreeze. Love how it turned out, too. Love these wheels. Got the wheels off of eBay. I really like that design of them. And then the headlights, I did put detail but it's really hard to see so I did paint a little white line and a little turn signal line kind of make it look like an LED then I ended up selling the Supreme that I made so I made another one for myself, for my collection. I finally completed it. I think I had it painted maybe the same time I did the other one, but I uh, just now got around to detailing it and putting on the 
graphics and clear coating it for the last time. Absolutely love this 2K clear coat. I'll have to make a video on just 2K clear coat. You want to see a video on the 2K clear coat, make a comment down below. About once a week I'll clear, have enough castings done. I'll set them all aside and wait until I have enough lined up to clear coat. And it's usually once a week. And I usually have five to seven I clear coat. Probably only about four of them are for the final step because I clear coat two or three times throughout the process of uh, making a custom. So for me, it's not my final step. So it's just another step in the process. But then I always have the final clear coat, which is the final step. So that one's done now. It can go into my display, which I ended up getting another Hot Wheels display hung up on my wall. Sorry, don't know what happened there. I accidentally hit the stop button. So, I actually got some room in these. Uh, I didn't put all my customs in here. I still have a uh, jammer full of them too. And uh, these aren't customs, but I left a gap in between them so that I could display these on here. These are my premiums I like better. I like more. But... Anyways, get back to the customs. Finished up two two more chem blocks this week. Look at the Ford Fiesta. Some of the hardest graphics I've ever worked with in my entire life. But I am just blown away with the final result. And this casting, having a white base, just was a bonus because... The white base really goes good with the white tires. And this has quite a few coats of clear coat on it. As you can tell. But extremely happy to add a Ken Block custom to the collection. And then I ended up doing a truck. It's not the Huna truck, but it's had to use wheel spacers on this and everything else, get the right stance. Maybe I can make a video to show how I make the wheel spacers if you're interested in that. But this is a Chevy 62 Custom. Got some Toyo or Nitto tires on there. Toyo tires. And the wheels are from... Monoblock wheels, which I highly recommend monoblock wheels. They are super, super easy to work with. And I uh, just highly recommend them. And they're pretty cheap too. Cheaper than buying a pop culture or something. And then just since I'm showing it, this isn't a custom. But this is a, a little like remote control car. If you can believe that, it has a charger, it's a remote control car. And it didn't come with a controller or nothing, but it's a little tiny Ken Block remote control car, and I think it's so freaking awesome. But yeah, I got this a long time ago in the mail. Got it from eBay, wasn't sure on the size of it. 
and it's definitely a lot smaller than 164th, but it is so freaking awesome. I just love it. I tried finding one that was new or one that like came with a remote or the charger or something. Okay, you can see it takes a little charger, but uh, I could not find it. Uh, this was sold in like 2011 from Mattel. But, is that not the coolest little thing? Especially if you love chem block like I do. I mean, hell, even got decals on the front grill. And then the next one I got, it's going to be this Porsche. Love the color of this. I have no idea what you would even call this color. I'm not hand right now. I forget what paint it was. It was one of the first paints I airbrushed. I'm pretty sure. Huh. Well, I have to think about that for a minute. It might have been a flat color. You know, this might have been like a flat color until I clear coated it. But those are the ones I finished up this week. Here's a look at something that I'm working on. Now the paint on this is just freaking unreal. So, not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, especially you want to see this one when it's finished. Might be another week or two though. Seems like these videos are a couple weeks apart because it took me at least two or three weeks to get this many of them completed. But, uh, definitely have a ton of them in the process always I'm like completely overwhelmed with how many I have in the process right now and I really got to work hard to start clearing off my bench and this detailing out the interior holy cow is that time consuming like you can spend three hours three hours doing the interior got a bunch more paint want to make a ton of paint reviews if you guys are interested in watching the paint reviews. I still got to finish the detail work on the 510s and give them their final clear coat. I did them such a long time ago and they just kind of got set aside. So I definitely just really need to focus on getting some of this stuff cleared out. But, uh, not to mention, I got a ton of new decals in the mail. So, got all these ones, big stack of them there. And then I got these ones from Nesto P. He made me some that I wanted, and then I purchased some off him. So, I got lots and lots of decals. Not to mention all these darn drawers are full of them. All of them. All these little drawers are full. But just don't get to spend enough time down in my die cast room. And I don't get to make as many videos as what I would like to make. Or what I even promise you guys I'm going to make. Sorry I missed Muscle Car Monday. I try to always get that one. Even though I tend to miss... Uh, trucking stuff Thursday a lot. Uh, I'm going to try really, really hard to get both of them. I would like to start doing a paint review video every Saturday morning. So if you guys be interested in that, comment down below. Just let me know. Uh, I got an extra one of these from the case I bought. If somebody wants it. It's $35 shipped. 
So $30 for the car and $5 shipping. Uh, you can get a hold of me on my Instagram. So it's a really awesome car. It comes with the display case. And I already got one when I bought the lower display case for the diecast collection. So uh, I got another one when I bought the top one. So if anybody's interested in the Mercedes and they're not interested in the display case, I would take $30 for it plus five bucks shipping. So 35 bucks in the US only, unfortunately. Uh, it's too much of a pain in the butt to ship anywhere besides the US. So, so that's all I got to show you today. Let me know what you think. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Mine would have to be either the truck or one of the gassers. I just really love the way both of them colors came out or this gasser or all three, all three of them. But I love them all. That's why they're all staying in the collection. But let me know what you guys been up to. And have an awesome day.